I'm going to make one for the creme patissiere, which is known as the pastry cream. What I have in a large bowl that I just put in four large egg yolks has been brought to room temperature. So into this on a medium bowl, I put a half a cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to mix with two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm just going to give this to break all inside of the cornstarch. I'm going to use the spoon to get everything well. You can go ahead and dump it right in. I'm just going to whisk around so you get peel and color. This is going to be pale and color. Now into this saucepan over medium heat, I'm going to pour two cups of whole milk. Just you want to scald in the milk until it gets nice and warm. I decided I can reach this temperature about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That'd be warm enough. We're going to remove it from the heat. It's been after scalding the milk. We're going to slowly pour it just little by little. I'm just going to keep whisking inside has been pale and colored with the egg yolks, sugar, and cornstarch. And remember, do not over pour or else it will turn scrambled eggs. But only tempering the egg. I'm just going to pour a little more. I'm going to quickly put a fourth of teaspoon of kosher salt while still almost hot. I'm going to pour it back into the saucepan. You want to return to medium low heat has been already reduced. So I should say about that return to medium high heat that has been transferred. I'm going to keep whisking all the way around until it get nice thickened and smooth. I remove from the heat after it's just thickened and smooth. Then you can pour it right through the sieve. Just want to make sure to get rid of all lumps. I'm going to use it with a rubber spatula. You see that? You use it with a sieve to break all the lumps. So while it's almost still warm, I'm going to go ahead and put two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to melt that right into that while it's still hot. The butter just melted inside. Now lastly, you're going to pour one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Just going to keep one last stir. So once after stir, you want to cover loosely with some plastic wrap. And chill it in the refrigerator for later before you're ready to prepare your own favorite desserts. You can make one with the crepes, you can make one with the cream pops, everything goes well for the dessert. And here you go, you have a finished creme patissiere. If you're interested for more recipes, write down in the comments below if you want to say something. Make sure to be always watch for shines. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for everyone. As always, enjoy. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.